Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in my last video, I did a Q&A session. So you lot asked me questions and then I answered you. This week, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I'm going to be giving you Netflix suggestions. So that involves series and also films. So grab yourself a notepad, some paper or your phone if you're watching this and something else. And yeah, let's get started. So my first suggestion is called Instant Hotel. Now, this is a series. It takes place in Australia where different couples or they don't have to be together. They could be friends who own their own instant hotel and they travel around going to all different ones and they have to rate each hotel how they want to. So I think that includes like night's sleep, the property, and then they all get to win this like massive prize at the end. But it's really interesting because you get to see how other people live. Like you get to see how they've put their own design onto it. And some of the properties are really nice. So if you're looking to go on holiday in Australia, you can stop in any of these places because they're all ready to rent out. So yeah, I'd definitely give that an eight out of 10. My second suggestion is called The Good Place. Now this is a series, it's quite long, but you really get into it. It is about the afterlife, but it is mistaken in a different way i'm not gonna give it away too much because obviously if i say some things you're not gonna want to watch it but it's about there's a good place and there's a bad place and then you focus on these four people then go into the afterlife and then you see them trying to get into the good place from the bad place and a lot of things happen they end up going back on earth to try and get better at themselves they have to try and get points to be able to get into the good place so yeah i definitely give that an 8 out of 10 as well because i was obsessed with this i've watched it twice and it, it just gets better every time you watch it my next suggestion is jack whitehall's travels with my father if you haven't watched this you need to definitely watch this i'll give this a 10 out of 10 it is so funny. It is Jack going on a gap year and he takes his dad with him. Obviously, we all know that Jack is already a comedian, so he's going to be funny anyway, but his dad just makes it 10 times funnier. They go to all these different places. They end up getting a doll made, which then Jack's dad prefers the doll over him. It is so funny. I'd definitely put that at the top of your list. This next one, me and my friend Becky are obsessed with it. It's called Yummy Mummies and it is these mums who live in Melbourne in uh, Australia and they're all pregnant at the same time and they've got so much money and you see them have a baby shower. You see them how they spend the time together as they're pregnant. They meet this girl called Maria. Her ma Maria is rich. All in a house is Versace and you see them going against each other and it is so funny. But the thing is, this is actually true. So you can follow the mums on Instagram and you can see their kids growing up now, which is really nice because it's not just you see it on a series and it's not true in real life when... They are actually really good friends in real life and yeah, the children are just adorable. I'd definitely give that a 10 out of 10. It's my favourite. And there isn't a lot of episodes either, which makes it easier to watch. My next series is Bridgerton. Now, I think a lot of people have watched this, but if you haven't, I would definitely recommend going to watch it because you can play it at any time and it just all makes sense. I'd give it a 9 out of 10 only because they left it on such a plot twist that they need to make more series. But it was originally a book and there was lots of different books. So I definitely think they're going to make more. But it is about these two families and they're really rich. And one of the daughters marries off to the Duke and you see their life together. And then, yeah, I'm not going to say too much because obviously... I'm not going to ruin it for you, but it's definitely a really good thing to watch because I didn't think I was going to enjoy it because I'm not really into the old fashioned type 
programmed but even like the classical music at the balls it's like pop music like they're dancing to ariana grande but like classical version it is really good i definitely recommend so my next series is i don't know how to say this i don't know if it's pronounced atypical or atypical but it is about a boy with autism and you see his life it is really funny at like some stages it's not making fun of him or anything you see his life you see how he does in his job how he meets this girl called Paige and yeah you see how him hasn't having autism also affects his sister's life and how much the mom and dad are drawn to him that they don't notice her so I definitely recommend watching that but it does get quite emotional at some points but I definitely give it a nine out this next series it looks really strange and it really is but I got so into it I don't even know why I watched it but it was just so good it's called Santa Clarita Diet it's about this woman who sicks up this like weird spider ball thing and she ends up being like dead but she's not so she has to eat humans to be able to like eat like that's all she can eat and you see her husband try and like help her but not get arrested and then these little ball things like come alive and then they're really there to hunt for them a lot of stuff happens and it happens to a lot more people in the program but i binge watched this so quickly but some people might not like it because it's a bit strange but i personally gave it an 8 out of 10 because it was just so different and it was really good to watch my next series is the circle usa now some of you might have watched the UK version where you get basically put in these massive flats and then you can only talk to people through the screen. You can be anyone who you want to be. So you can be yourself or there was like boys pretending to be their girlfriend because obviously you can't see each other. And then you vote each other out. But because it was American, it was 10 times funnier. I was in stitches all the time. I loved it so I'd definitely give that a 10 out of 10 that is at the top of my list that if I hadn't watched I would go to watch oh straight away. my god the next one stranger things oh my god the clothes that I have with strange things on get yourself to Primark yes but I absolutely love this program I watched it twice through there's three I think there's three series and then there's a fourth one coming out in August so you have time now to watch it and then by the time we get to August you'll be all hyped up for the next series but I thought it was so good I made my mum watch it and she really likes it at first I was gonna watch it a couple of years ago actually but when I started it I didn't really like it at first but you really get into it so then I obviously watched it I think it was November time or maybe it was before that I'm not really sure I've lost track of time but I remember watching it for the second time and then really getting into it it's about this girl with like powers like really I'm not going to go into it too much you just need to watch it but it's about these kids and a lot of things happen there's like the upside down world where all these monsters live but you get so gripped into it people like die so you get really emotionally attached to these characters and then you see them die and then oh it, it is amazing 11 out of 10 100 out of 10 it's my favorite next program is called good girls so me and becky me and becky just watch all the same things like we watch something and then we're like you need to go watch this so we go and watch it but this is about these girls who get involved with this man and he sells fake money so he hires them to wash all of the money for them this one girl gets like romantically involved with him it is so good you watch these girls like it is really funny at some parts as well but then a lot of things like happen so like they get nearly caught doing it they have to go and like fly out to different places to like sort it all out they then have to make fake money themselves and this girl gets involved in it and she gets taken away everything happens like people die it is drama film f filmed filled i'd give it a nine out of ten it's definitely something if you want some action some drama 
definitely go and watch that. Okay, so ever since I've watched this, I cannot say it. It's insatiable, insanitable. I don't know. If you know how to say it, send me a video on Instagram filming yourself how to say it because I can't say it. But it's about this girl who was really fat and then she lost so much weight and she gets involved in pageants and she travels everywhere. A lot of murder happens. She falls in love with her pageant coach as she tries to win. But you get so involved in it. It's like drama filled. And then people die that you don't even expect to die. She ends up getting baptised and she becomes gorgeous. And then she falls in love with this boy called Christian. Yeah, a lot happens. But I'd say this is more of like teenage program to like mid 20s i definitely give it like nine out of ten it's really this good. next one you've all watched it but you need to go and watch it again and again this gave me lockdown one flashbacks i spent all day binge watching it when i finished it i re-watched it i know it word for word benazorm is amazing a hundred out of ten is the best and then when you haven't watched it in a while and then you can watch all of the series through, I think it's like 10 or 11, but you can watch them all through, like the different families, like how they change. Honestly, I recommend just going and watching it. You might think, yeah, I've already watched it, but when you re-watch it, it just gets funnier every time. But yeah, go and watch Benadorm again. It's all on Netflix. Okay, the next thing, you might all watch it. It is Gogglebox, but... There is some episodes on Netflix, so if you just wanted to re-watch them over again, you're thinking, I've got nothing to watch, you want to watch something quick, then go and watch Google Box. I love it. I watch it every Friday. Yeah, it's the best. So yeah, I don't even need to rate it because it's just Google Box. You can't compare it. So I'm moving to films now. So my first film is White Chicks. What a film. This is about these two police officers who go and collect these two girls to take them to the Hamptons, but they end up in a car accident. Not a serious one. It's just because the dog goes flying out the window and then they crash and the girls are like, oh my God, my nose, my makeup, my face. So they're like, stay in your room, we'll sort it. And they end up going to the Hamptons dressed as the girls. You see all of this drama happen. They have dance battles. They go shopping. Oh, it's the funniest thing ever. I love it. I can watch it over and over again and not get tired. Give it a 10 out of 10. Go and watch White Chicks if you haven't. It'll really okay, make that. This next one is a documentary. Well, it's not really a documentary. It is Ariana Grande, Excuse Me, I Love You. It is the film of her tour. And you. it was really interesting because you see everything that happens backstage. You see... A, like a different side of Ariana to be fair and obviously because the bombing happened at her Manchester tour I think this was the tour after it that she did so she gets really emotional and she really connects with her dancers because obviously they're trying to get her through the tour because she was such a lovely girl anyway if you'd seen Victorious like I used to watch when I was younger she was cat in it she then went on to do Sam and Cat and yeah, so they were like a big part of my childhood anyway. So you, I kind of like grew up watching her. So you see that like soft side of her and then for that to happen to her and she to like carry on for her fans because this tour was sold out. You see all of the faces in the audience singing back at her. And yeah, I definitely watch it just to see that side of her because, and you get to see the tour and the dances. It's just amazing. You feel like you're actually there. So yeah, 10 out of 10. Oh my God. This came out ages ago, but I remember when it first came out, I was like, I'm not going to watch it because I don't like horror. I don't know what you're thinking. Who doesn't like horror? But I actually don't like horror. But Bird Box, obviously, I don't even know what the plot is of Bird Box. It's just like people get like something like comes over them and then they all start like killing each other and killing themselves. And then they have to like go to this place try and get there blindfolded um yeah it's it's different it's yeah if you haven't watched it watch it bird box it's worth a watch but i can't even explain it it's just 
different. This next one, I know a lot of me and my friends have watched it. Um, it's just everyone they keep making keeps getting better and better. It's to all the boys I loved before. There, there was the first one. Now there's the second one, and then that came out last week is the third one. I personally think the third one is better than the others, but you have to watch it from the beginning to for it to make sense. But it's about this girl who writes these love letters and then her sister sends them out. She ends up falling in with this boy, falling in, falling in love with this boy. And then um, this other boy who she wrote a letter to, who she was friends with when she was younger, gets back in touch. So then she likes this boy. A lot of things happen, a lot of romance, like you see them at school. Yeah, it's really like, it's just something to watch, but I really like Okay, it. so my next series is Kissing Booth. So there is a first one and a second one. This is a girl played by Joey King. Joey King is such an amazing actress. Honestly, she's played so many parts. Honestly, amazing. Um, it's about this girl who they write her and her friend Lee. They were born at the same time on the same day. They're grown, they're grown up, they're brought up as like twins, they're best friends, and then she ends up falling in love with his brother. A lot of things happen, a lot of family drama, and then it's all because of this kissing booth that they did for a fundraiser, and then yeah, I'm not gonna explain too much because everything that happens it's just oh it's amazing. I love it. I give it an eight out of ten. This next film is Norbit. You can't compare anything to Norbit. It is so funny. It's about this boy who grows up in an orphanage and he gets bullied and then his wife Respusha I can't even say name, Respusha. Respusha. Yeah, however you say name. She like comes in and she's like you better get away from him oh it's so funny so much happens like she goes to prove this girl wrong she goes down a water side and then she goes flying off it oh i love it i'm gonna attach a video of this scene after this because <laughs> it's so funny it'll have you in stitches i love it 100 out of 10 the best film <laughs> Mother of God! Hey, you dirty! Okay, so my next film is Wild Child. So this is the typical like teenagers film where this girl who's like living up in her Malibu Barbie dream life and then she gets sent off to boarding school where it's all like posh girls all in long skirts but in the end she does actually like find a good friendship group and she realizes that money isn't everything but like it's such just a chilled film that it's good to watch so yeah I love it I'll give it like an 8 out of 10 because not a lot happens but enough happens in it okay so i already said how much i love stranger things now millie bobby brown plays enola holmes in enola holmes and it is a recent film actually it came out like last year but she like goes on this journey to find her mom it's like set in like old-fashioned victorian times and a lot of action happens this like man is trying to track her down. Yeah, I love the film. Well, I love Millie Bobby Brown anyway, so I knew it was going to be an amazing film. But if you haven't watched Enola Holmes, go and watch Enola Holmes. A thousand out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> this next film, right, is called The Wrong Missy. It is so funny. Honestly, it's this like man and then he meets this girl. Well, he thinks it's this girl, but it's actually not. It's like this absolute weirdo that he ends up taking on holiday. 
I'm not going to say too much because you are going to wet yourself. Watch this film right now. <laughs> Go watch it. It cracks me up every time. I've watched it so much. Go and watch this it. This next film, someone told me about it. So, like, last year I watched it. It's a bit of a stupid film, but it is so funny. I definitely recommend if you want to laugh, go and watch The Package. It's about this. I'm not even going to like ruin the main part, but it's this like teenage group who go camping. Stuff happens and they have to get this lad to like the hospital, but they're lost. Oh my God, you'll be wetting yourself. It is the, who even came up with it, but I love it so much. It's so okay, funny. So, I forgot to put this series back in when I was like thinking of the ones that I could tell you, but this series, I just came across it. You know what I mean? Like you come across something random, you're like, is this going to be good? But it is called Love is Blind. It is a bit like the circle, but basically, so people are all living in these blocks and then they get to like meet other people, but through like, they're sitting, there's a wall between them. And then they're sitting in these two different rooms and then they're speaking to each other but it's coming through as like a text and yeah so they end up like you have to propose to someone at the end and then they only meet each other when they're engaged and then they go off to a retreat and you see like how everything like shadows because obviously if you don't know like what someone looks like they could be putting on a total front yeah i definitely watch it there is like, obviously some emotional parts in it, but there's also some really funny parts. So I definitely recommend Love is Blind. There is, I don't think there's that many episodes anyway, so I'll probably give it about a nine out of 10 because it is something really good to watch. This next series, I am obsessed with it at the minute. I can't stop watching it like any moment that I'm not like doing college work. Like as soon as my break comes in college, I'm ready with the remote to put it on. It's called Orange is the New Black. It's about prisoners like in a women's prison you see all these riots happen you see like it's good because when they're showing a person they like kind of give a flashback to what our life was like outside of it and then obviously people die because things happen but you get really emotionally involved with these characters but i absolutely love it it's one of my favorite series that i've watched so far watch this immediately it's called orange the new black in case you've forgotten i recommend it so much it's one of my favorite series yeah it's amazing <laughs> whoever came up with it okay guys so obviously they aren't everything that i've watched because i watched so much more but i just thought i'd pick a few out of different like categories that i've watched and just give you a few to keep you occupied in lockdown so i hope that you've liked this video uh comment down below what you want me to do in my next videos i'm open to any suggestions but i just thought this is such a good video because i don't even know what to watch after i've finished orange is the new black so if you have any recommendations put them in the comment box below don't forget to like this video share it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yeah i'll see you all in my next video thanks so much for watching guys